Hey, everybody. Welcome back to PAX West 2016, powered by Twitch. Uh, yeah, I'm Man for Man vs. Game. How's it going? We are still rolling strong. Day one of PAX West. And uh, we're about to get into uh, some lovely games. Oh, uh, absolutely. We're sitting here with Nintendo. This is uh, Demetrius with Nintendo. Yes. And uh, Rachel, as always. Thanks, Jason. Yes. Hold Excited to the, be here. What is that, the right, your left? I don't know. We're here to talk about Paper <laughs> Mario Color Splash. Absolutely. So what we have for you today actually is a really, really great stage. It's actually one of my favorite stages. Uh, this is the Golden Coliseum, where Mario is going to engage in a battle royal. OK. Um, so if you don't know, if you've never heard of Paper Mario Color Splash, just real quick. Um, so Mario is trying to discover the mystery of Prism Island. Mm -hmm. And in order to do that, he is trying to um, find some big paint stars, which will bring color back to uh, Prism Island, which is missing a lot of color at the moment. Oh, that's terrible. Yes. Yeah, so right now what Mario is doing, he's trying to register for the Battle Royale, which will give him a big paint star. OK. So this little helper over there just appeared. That was Huey, uh, which is one of the side characters that comes along with Mario all the, all the time. So what we're going to do here is go down to the bottom and kind of look at the pre-screener and see what's up to see you know, how we can go up to the Coliseum and battle some folks. Now, is this, if you've played a Paper Mario game before, is this pretty much more of what you can expect? Like, it's the, the RPG kind of uh, place? To... Um, no, it's not really an RPG, actually. It's more of an action-adventure game. Really? Um, so combat actually is, is more turn-based, where you use battle cards. OK. So right now, we have Pablo picking up battle cards as he fills in these blank spots. We call them colorless spots. Oh, OK. So this is all around Prism Island. You see colorless spots. And it's up to Mario here to use his paint hammer uh, to fill in those spots. And you gotcha. get coins and, and battle cards, which you can use. <laughs> I love that segment. <laughs> so those are the shy guys. They're they're all pumped up in jazz. They're they're ready to get their participation on. And yeah, we'll yeah. see them a little bit later. I love the shy guys. Get their participation on. I like them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> the shy people. Yeah, so we're going back, and we're kind of seeing just the backroom stage. Uh, one of the things about the Paper Mario series is the comedy and the humor and yes. the writing. And I think we really hit it home with this one. Nice. Uh, I've never laughed so hard, like, just reading these side comments. Like, right now, this is a group of shy guys talking trash about their friend right in front of his face. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's like they have no shame. Yeah, so he's just like, guys, I'm, I'm right here. They're just looking to win. <laughs> See, guys, stop talking to me, baby. I'm right, I'm right here. So what uh, Pablo's going to do next, he's going to go head over to the pre-screener, and we're going to just kind of get some questions. OK. So you notice he's going to ask some, some kind of curious things. OK. So are you bad to the bone? Of course. I, I don't even know. Uh, I don't even I know. Don't know. Oh, is that so? Well, then no bones about it. You're not qualified to fight. Now, who is saying no to that? <laughs> like, of course you say yes. So he's given us a hint here that there's something in our inventory that we don't have. And then he told us to go ahead and exit this part of the stadium. So we're going to go leave, or excuse me, Coliseum, leave, go back up, okay. and go kind of towards the nosebleed section. Gotcha. OK, back up in the top of the, the arena. Yeah, so that's what we're going to head for right now. We're going to go out and to the left. So previously, this area was actually not available for us. We could, it was blocked off. Gotcha. But since we spoke to the free screener, we can now kind of explore this area. And this is where we're going to get into some combat and some platforming. That's what I'm looking yeah. forward to. And are we going to see his paper features come into play here? Yeah, you're going to see a lot of battles a lot, and, and some just a different style of, of conventional platforming, which I think is great. So uh, right now we have two enemies, actually. You can jump on top of them. Perfect. Nice. Good segue right into there. So this is a good uh, example of combat. You, as you notice right there, right when he jumped on the enemy, that's a snippet, a red snippet. He's lost some color. Uh, that is to indicate that he took damage. OK. So everything about this game is about a world of color. You have your paint meter. You manage different cards. So Pablo actually picked up some cards, and he used them. Ooh. I love that Pablo. Savage. Uh, yeah, wrecked. <laughs> Brutal. Uh, I love it when uh, you can like kind of, uh, you know, convey information to the player, but not through necessarily like a, an interface, you know, like a bar standing up there. Like, I love right. that idea of having like the color draining from uh, an enemy so you can tell it's almost, you know, uh, defeated. Yeah, the, the attention to detail in this game is really amazing. And, and they, they thought of little things that I think that would really add to the overall visuals, especially that it's paperized, right? Um, a lot of times you'll see like wind blowing and they'll actually flap like paint. Okay, yeah, yeah. Like it's, it's really, really cool stuff. I was noticing the detail as well, like even with the, the paint hammer, uh, how like you have to cover up the whole spot, otherwise you don't get the, uh, the full effect. Correct, correct. Uh, for the most part, you don't have to be like, like 
cover everything exactly, but once you fill in the majority, it's good to go. And that's that's good. And the color management itself, it fills in the color automatically. Yeah. Um, but you notice that he has to be careful. So on the top left is his paint meter. Right. So right now he has max 260 paint. He can increase that by taking out enemies. Okay. Um, the enemies drop what's called uh, hammer scraps, little little tiny hammers. Okay. And after he collects a bunch of them, he'll be able to increase the amount of pain he carries. Gotcha. Now what Pablo's doing right now is he's actually just hit what's called an unfurl block, and he's going to transfer this energy into another block, and it's going to unravel. Okay. Like that. Whoa. Nice. See, and like you were saying before, you can tell just by the visuals that something different is happening, something something urgent is going on. Mm -hmm. Well, and I'm glad you explained it because I thought, oh, he just got in some invincibility. Like, <laughs> it's, what did it look like from an old Mario game? But no, that's a brand new, uh, brand new feature. Something we won't be showing, uh, but we, uh, we can mention it's called Cutout. Um, that's also really cool. If we were to press the Y button on the uh, gamepad, you actually can cut out the background in certain areas, and then you transform into the background. Oh, nice! And so like secret areas yeah, can be found yeah, anywhere. Really, wow! Really cool stuff. Uh, but for this one, we're mainly just focusing on using the unfurl block, kind of coloring in the spots. Um, if you're a player like me, <laughs> I had to color in everything, but in the interest of time, we can't really do all of that, right? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm the same <laughs> way. Like, the completionist mindset, like, I just can't leave, you know, a spot untouched. Yeah, yeah. I'm just and glad I you're picking up all the coins in the demo, or I would be very <laughs> upset. Yeah, exactly. We'd have to stop everything. Like, Pablo! <laughs> gotta exactly. Him. And one thing I'd like to point out, too, is you notice that the shy guy in the middle is a red shield guy, actually. Ooh. So you have to be careful on the battle cards you pick. So if you're actually using a hammer straight on, it's not going to do much damage, but Pablo was smart in picking a fire hammer because it's going to go right through that shield. Nice. I can tell he's done this before. All right, make, make, make me proud. Bag. Bam. And so how much control does the player have in those moments? When he's winding up that hammer, can I release at any point, or do yes, I have to yes, fully wind up? Yeah, you can be timed too early or too late. And there's more than just good. There's good, great, and excellent. Excellent will do a huge shockwave and take down tons and tons of enemies. Cool. Uh, now, one thing you can't see is that he's actually painting those cards manually. He's actually tapping the touchscreen and using paint from his paint meter. OK. And that's something that um, is all about paint management that I wanted to get back to. Right. Now, it's like the core like yeah, mechanic yeah, of the game, yeah. yeah. And when you, when you defeat enemies, you get paint back, but you can also hit objects in just all around you. And you can squeeze paint out of those, too, like a flower or a tree or even destroy a box. Nice. And just like a like, refill there. And the tricky thing about this, you notice they're actually multiplying. So yeah. Fuzzies are very difficult. Yeah, I was amazed that he <laughs> was able to jump on them earlier. Because like in other Mario games, it's like a no-no. You just don't touch those at all. But... Paper Mario can do things yeah, regular a, Mario can't. Hidden little trick. Yep. Well, what else can Paper Mario do that regular Mario can't? I mean, what what can we do in, in Paper Mario games that we don't get to do in other Mario games? Well, I think oh, that's a lot of questions. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a lot of answers. Yeah. Um, I think it's the ability to to interact with, well, for one, it's just a whole different style of game, to be quite honest. I mean, we have the battle card elements, you have the you have the bigger overall story, um, you still have the platforms. I just think it's just a whole different beast to really, you know, to compare with. It's it is definitely, different. yeah. Um, the battle cards, for one, um, you have different characters, they all have their different personalities, and they have even even the normal characters that you really think of, like, um, for example, Peach, they're, they're slightly different. So mm. it, I, I feel like this is its own world. So I definitely recommend try, you know, checking out that that type of uh, game like this that has those type of story characters. Sure. Speaking of other characters, just just a random question: Does does Luigi make an appearance in this, or is he he's just out? Uh, you'll have to play it again. Okay. Wow. <laughs> All right. So that's a hard sell. I'm gonna take that as a. I'm into that. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of characters that do appear in this game, but I, I can't say which one. Sure. I, I'm I'm honestly it's I've had so many cool moments in this. I'm always hesitant to say anything because I don't want to spoil it. Sure. Even showing this stage, I feel like it's a little bit of a spoiler, but in a good way. Like I, I still want people to to know that this is a really awesome game. Oh yeah. Well, is there a cool moment that you can share that wouldn't give too much away, but that was kind of really special for you? Actually, what's coming up here, um, I was one of the people that helped pick this stage. Oh, wow. Um, this next part that's coming up, I found to be really, really funny, especially the dialogue. So what's happening right now is we found the, the bone, right? We turned it into a thing card. So okay. Pablo squeezed that bone, which gave him all the paint, and it squeezed it so much it actually turned it into a bone and he put it into his inventory. Now, thing cards are special 3D objects you can actually summon into the game. Okay. They're not paperized, and they are very wacky and zany. Just make it crack up laughing. Wow. So you can get all kinds of like different power-ups. I, I love the idea of just like grabbing 3D objects as being like this special item that you can you can grab. Oh, and we've made it to the arena. 
so this is this for me was one of the first real moments. So this is a big paint star. This is one of the the main objects that you really want. Yeah. But obviously, you know, this is not going to be so easy. The battle royal for the fight for your life. So, oh wow! Remember all those guys that we talked to? These are the actual opponents from downstairs. Okay, nice. <laughs> so you got a little preview of like who so you're going to be fighting. So Pablo can either get hit or run for his <laughs> life. So what we're going to do? He's going to get into one battle here. And if Pablo can maybe use a thing card, why don't we try using the piggy bank? I love that little troll there where you're like, uh, now Pablo, yo, you could get hit, sure. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I would have gone that route, Pablo. What, what's amazing here too is so he ran into these guys, but you can run into the shy guys that we saw earlier. Uh -huh. And the announcer calls all, oh, look, it's the shy guys. And they're all pumped up and then you defeat them and it's over. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's hilarious. It cracks me up every time. Here we go. What is, right. what is Pablo cooking so up here? So Pablo is using a, a the piggy bank thing card, which is probably my favorite thing card. There's a lot of them. So here's just a little taste of what's in store. And there it is, a fully a little, like realized 3D <laughs> object. And he's breaking it down. <laughs> <laughs> the oh, it's walk. The <laughs> wow. So this is gonna do a lot of damage. It wow. should take out the entire group. Uh, this pig is going ham. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very oh, much. Yeah. I appreciate that. I think that fits with Paper <laughs> Mario. So you didn't even need another card. You got another perfect bonus, which means that you took no damage that round. Nice. So we're going to go ahead and escape this, guys. And I did notice that cost a lot of color, though. That was for the Fire Flower card, uh -huh. actually. So oh. as you see here, a star. Now, if you notice, Oh, scrap, the superstar. Look, they actually react, and they're running for their lives. Which is good. Yeah. Oh, Pablo picked up enough paper uh, uh, hammer scraps that actually increased his paint meter. So that's, nice. That's great. The meter goes up. So now they're, these guys are all running for it. They're just booking it, and it's up to Pablo to pretty much oh, run wow. through all of them. <laughs> that, there's that invincibility <laughs> we were talking about, yeah. Yes. And this is like easy mode now. Now you're Yep, just... there's nothing left. Did he take them all out? So Mario uses oh. performance enhancing power to cheat his way to victory. Unbelievable. <laughs> I love how the coins are cardboard. Like there's some uh, I, I love about that. So what he's picking up there are enemy cards, by the way. So you can actually summon enemies. Cool. And they'll then they'll actually take place uh, helping you out. For a boss battle such as coming up here though, they'll actually run for their life. Nice. <laughs> Just go like summoner style. So this is really fascinating. One of the cool things about this engagement here is earlier, oh my God. we could have fought this guy, but we would have got torn up because we didn't have the right item or the right thing card. But it's in this stage, so it wasn't really difficult. Okay. But it's cool that you can actually engage to see the issue. You can run away and then explore the rest of that huge stage. I like that. You, yeah. They allow you to kind of like mess up, you know, like you, yeah. can, you can try fighting it's him. It's just but not game over. Right. So it's really interesting. And there's actually other items that we haven't shown you. So there's still a lot of areas to explore as well. Now I'm guessing, so at home. is that thing item that we needed the bone? Yes. I see. I'm as getting say, it. Yeah, I'm yeah. getting it. Putting it all together. There you go. Now, what's really interesting here, so they get off the, they're going to get off the chariot, and Pablo's going to have to cause some damage. So once they get back on that chariot, you can't damage them. They just run circles around you laughing. Wow. So we're going to need that card to help us out. But first, it's going to be up to Pablo here to cause as much damage as possible. Now, Iggy is no joke. Um, Pablo has about 53 HP out of 75, so he has to be very careful because Iggy's at least going to get one hit in. And depending on the type of hit he does, he can cause over 20 damage. It's, it's no joke. And there you're, you're kind of at the mercy of the, the RNG yeah. here. So. All right, we've got the hammer and the jumping shoes. Let's see how it pans hammer. out. Oosh. That does a lot of damage. And then he picks some um, spring, uh, spring jumps here. So there you go. Good. Oh, he's on point. This is perfect. Uh, All those are good. An excellent. Such a classic matchup. Oh, look at that. For round two. Got like maybe like a quarter gone there, would you say? Yeah. I guess, yeah, we're watching as the paint. Mm -hmm. disappears from the That's card. That's all the paint he put in the card, too. Really Interesting. Cool. So he has an option to maybe only put half as much paint in there? Oh, He's down to 13 no. health. All right, Pablo, you got to heal, bro. Oh, man. It's, <laughs> it's do or die time now. He's flagging. This is, uh, this is intense. Yeah. I love it. This is this is what you want to see in an, in an arena battle. <laughs> <laughs> to the wire. So he's going to heal up. That's not going to do all of that. So he's going to have to do it twice. But this is going to allow Iggy to attack again. Ah, uh, so, yeah. So he's going to be careful here. Oh, God. Come on. Oh, he mistimed it. Careful. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, that, that could have ended really badly. All right, so I think if he wants to use another hammer or so. Okay. Take him down. Um, let's try using some big, big hammers. Oh, that's good. That'll work. There you go. Yeah, you got to just burn this guy down now. He looks a little plant-based. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Uh, Iggy, or yeah, he's yeah like definitely. a carrot hit, carrot top hit. Okay, this does some good damage here. Nice. I like it when this is good. Little this fire flowers. 
where he's going to go ahead and switch over. Oh, he's still only half. Yeah, it's definitely a, a uh, boss fight. Yeah, it's definitely a fight. A real fight. All right, so they're going to hop in the chariots. <laughs> now, at this point, Pablo really can't do much. Um, maybe we can just demonstrate with a jump or a weak card just to kind of show and then maybe heal up after that. Okay. We got that. We might not have that. If not, it's all right. But either way, these guys are kind of just going to take some shots at Pablo, so he's got to be careful. Well, I really yeah. like how patient they are as Mario kind of peruses his options, looks through his card. No one really jumps on him in that moment. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but if they did, he actually had that spiky helmet on right there. So here we go, back to 75, perfect. So backstage, Pablo, he's looking at the the Wii, uh, the gamepad. Yes, correct. And that's where you can see the cards that you yes, collect. Yes, he shuffled yeah. through it, and he has quite a few. You can hold up to 99, actually. Wow, OK. He's got quite a I mean, I don't know if he has all that filled up at the moment, but I know he has quite a bit. Pablo, I hope you can pull this out in time. I'm really excited to see how the bone comes into play here. This right? is perfect. This is, actually, he can use the bone right now. Wonderful. So we can use the bone, and then let's try using the Lucky Cat. I believe that'll be great. Ooh. And that'll go right in. So we'll use two thin cards, and that should do a lot of damage. Is, lucky cat, is that with like the coin like cat? Yeah, no, it's going to be an actual cat. And there it is. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh man. Adorable. That Japanese culture, I love it. <laughs> All right. Go get him, girl. OK, yeah, let's see what this bone <laughs> does here. There you go. Sick him. Oh, wow. That was, wow. that was not how I thought that was going to go. <laughs> no. That was from left field. <laughs> Look at that. Iggy is still kicking. Iggy's still kicking, but the chariots are gone, and he wants a refund now. Ah, uh, here we go. All right, so I think about one more hit should do it. If okay. not, after this, a good exchange will do it. Oh, I love these animations this for the uh, thing cards, yeah. This card is oh, yeah. something else. What were we saying? Tanoshi! Oh, my God. <laughs> oh the my ramen. God. The guys in the background, there's the sushi. <laughs> there's all kinds of stuff right here. There's a karaoke, there's a uh, karaoke <laughs> sign there. Yeah, yeah now's, now's when you need that uh, Japanese language degree. That's exactly <laughs> it, I'm using it right now. Uh, yeah, yeah. What does the cat say? Uh, I can't see. It says like a thousand, uh, something like, it was like send mon so it was like a million, I think. I don't know. A lot of money. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. That one. It was like a thousand and ten thousand. All right, Iggy so is still use the, a large hammer or some form of hammer should should seal the deal. It's hammer got time. time. Got the time for it. One more time. So definitely hammer time. <laughs> while we're finishing up here, uh, Paper Mario, uh, Color Splash, Color Splash uh, where and when can we play this game? So this will be out October 7th. Wow, OK. So it's right around the corner, really. It, it is. Oh, is it a golf? No, it's still there. <laughs> oh, man. He's not going down. And uh -oh. of course, this is on the Nintendo Wii U. OK, yeah. Sure. But yeah, oh, come on, Pablo. You can do this. No pressure. Bring us home, Pablo. Bring it on. Come on. He's got, he's got he's like nothing. Go. He's got his highlights left. Like. Yeah. <laughs> I love how he's just like <laughs> flapping there. It's in just frosted tips. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, and he's gone. There we go. Excellent. We got it. That's just one quick look. And that was just one stage out of many, many, or excuse me, a course. Yeah. One course out of many, many, many. I was going to say, I can imagine the, the Paper Mario games are, you know, usually a lot of uh, content there to play yeah, through. Yeah. You, you have a good story. Um, I think what's cool about this one around is the mystery element. It really feels kind of like a Saturday morning cartoon to me. Yeah. And I think people are going to really appreciate it. And the music is also incredible. So I hope the people at home got a chance to really hear that. Yeah. The really, game really, honestly really looks stuff. awesome. And uh, good. Good. Yeah, yeah, can't wait to take a look at it. Uh, Demetrius, thank you so very much for uh, much. joining us here on the caster stage. Uh, we are going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back with more amazing content from PAX West 2016. You know Stay it. tuned.